is up y'all my name is Nori and welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be doing our favorite video which is the TBR cookie jar we love to select TBR cookie jars from here because your girl's not gonna stop buying bugs okay <laughs> Book buying bans don't actually happen for me because I go to a lot of thrift stores and if I see a cheap book, I'm going to buy it. So I have not been buying new books, but I have been buying used books. So it's not going to happen, y'all. Book buying ban does not happen on this channel. So the way that I like to minimize my TBR is by picking up a cookie jar or just a tbr jar in general i know somebody tagged me on uh, their instagram that they made their own tbr jar and they are like hey i was inspired by reading with nori and i'm just like you guys are the best i love it if you are not sure about not even a tbr cookie jar but just a tbr jar honestly it works because i have been reading my books and if i don't read them I either put them back on the shelf to be read again or I just get rid of them which has been working wonders because if I don't like it I'll get rid of it which brings me to another book that I bought so I can put it on this shelf. So we are going to start and if you did not know I usually pick six cookies but if it's too much uh, graphic novels or manga I'll just continue picking until my heart is content. Sometimes I'll stay with six most of the times I'll pick eight and then I've reached ten as well which oh boy I wanted to make it a game maybe maybe like a dice you roll the dice and that's how many cookies that I'm gonna pick up if you're interested in that let me know because that sounds kind of cool all right third pick y'all if I keep picking up things I'm gonna have to revamp this cookie jar because if not I'm just wasting minutes on my camera first pick it is i think i'm holding this upside down it is saints and misfits okay here it is saints and misfits i love how my top eyeshadow kind of matches with it hey so this is a saints and misfits by sk ali i've heard nothing but really good things i picked up one of her contemporary novels and i don't know why i didn't finish it because i was really loving it but here we are with this beautiful book um our main character is jenna and i'm i'm pretty sure that there's some complicated things going on family wise um she lives with her dad and his brand new family and then the mom lives with the older brother which obviously there's going to be some some uh, quarreling over there then there's her best friend which is jeremy and uh, those two are cut from a completely different cloth but they make it work and then there is a monster i guess i don't know what this book is about but it's beautiful and she's holding up a camera which you guys well if you did not know i'm a photographer so i can relate to that and uh, i've been working on uh, reading more diverse authors which this book goes perfectly with it so i cannot wait to pick this up all right we got our first book which is a YA contemporary and our second pick it is the princess diaries oh, okay that is a ya throwback y'all where are my pink books right here princess diaries a very very hot pink book but that's the second pink book that i've grabbed maybe maybe i'm only gonna be grabbing pink books who knows but everybody kind of knows this because we all grew up on the movie and McCabot. It was a huge YA contemporary when I was a teenager and that was pretty long ago. But yeah, everybody kind of knows what The Princess Diaries is. You have um, Mia and uh, Mia is, you know, the outcast and the nerd. And then she finds out that 
her dad is a crown prince of Genovia, the country Genovia. So she finds out that she's a princess and she needs a whole makeover montage. Yes. But um, yeah, she needs to learn how to behave like a princess so that she does not embarrass her dad because one day she's going to be queen. So this is pretty much our childhood right here and I picked this up because this is a whole entire series so I loved the movie and I wanted to pick up the book series and you know give it a try and I'm excited to actually pick this up. All right we got two out of six YA contemporaries y'all. This is going to be the month of contemporaries. We shall see and the third book it is going to be i think i'm holding that upside down yep i am oh deep blue another ya book but this one is a mermaid book which ah, y'all know i'm all about that life where is it all right so this is a deep blue by jennifer donnelly it follows a princess isabella which this is a mer kingdom and um she's been having like dark dreams slash premonitions of uh things that are going to happen and on the night that she's supposed to take a trial to see if she can become princess eventually queen of this uh mer kingdom her mother gets poisoned by an assassin so now she has to go on this journey to stop the events from happening so that the mer kingdoms don't go to war with each other so there's a lot of politics there is uh actual mermaids here and uh, there is a kingdom in distress which all those three things i absolutely love so um I believe this is a trilogy and uh, this is another Disney Hyperion books and I know that this has a song for it too and I really like the song um yeah I picked this up because I'm obsessed with mermaids if you did not know and now I'm actually going to read it so yeah all right y'all I kicked my tripod so hopefully it's not too much of a difference but book number four Let's see if we get something other than YA, which I don't mind because I do read a lot of YA. But yeah, let's see. Next book, it is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Oh, we got a classic, y'all. Oh, snap. All right, cool. And exactly where it is. And um, yeah, I have not read this book. I, I have a list of classics that I want to get to but never have if you guys are interested in seeing that video let me know but uh, let me take this out before i put it back in um yeah i know this is um this is a historical fiction set in nazi germany and it follows a girl named lizel i believe and um obviously very dark times but her family is hiding a very dark secret as well they're hiding a jew in the basement and it's nazi germany it's hella dangerous for all of them but as she finds this book hidden in the snow and so begins her book theory because i'm pretty sure books are banned and she starts stealing all these books from buildings that are being burned down by nazis to certain important people and um yeah i thank god that I have no idea how this is going to end. I don't really know nothing about this book because most of the times we all know all about the classics and how it's about to go down. But I have been spoil spoiler free on this book so I honest to God have no idea how this is going to go. So I'm super excited and maybe this kicks off my reading journey towards reading classics. So it's a win-win. All right, so we have uh, four books. We have two contem technically, yeah, no, two contemporaries. We have one YA fantasy, and then we have a historical fiction. Okay, give me a hard time. Go ahead. All right, the fifth book. I think I'm holding this upside down. Yep, I am, and it is a uh, Dumplin', another YA contemporary. Okay um where are you at homegirl oh my god please don't tell me yep she's 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 right here <sighs> yeah no 
Hold on, y'all. All right, so here it is. It is Dumpling by Julie Murphy. I actually read Sweet Pea by Julie Murphy, and that is a middle grade, and I gave it a four out of five stars. I really liked it, but I heard nothing but mixed reviews on this. A lot of people absolutely adore it, and some people don't actually like it. And then some people are like, ah, oh, the first book is all right, but then the second book is beautiful. So it's like... <laughs> I don't know so I never picked it up and the reason why I pick and the reason why I picked this up is because we have a, a plus size main character which I'm always out on a hunt for so this follows Dumplin I believe her name is what Willow Dean Willow Dean but Dumpling's mom is actually a former beauty queen pageant but Dumpling is having none of that she's very comfortable in her skin and she does not need a bikini body to be happy but she starts working at this fast food restaurant and there goes this guy he is one of those jocks and surprisingly he starts to like her back and they may be forming a little some some but there goes insecurities and now her self-esteem is going down the drain so she decides to do something unthinkable to recover her self-esteem she decides to run for beauty queen in beauty pageant which makes her mom super ecstatic so um we follow her journey there and i'm pretty sure she's an unlikable character like she's she is not the best character at all which i already have my mindset on so um yeah i'm excited to read this and uh hopefully fingers crossed i loved it and there is a movie so now i can actually compare the book to the movie to see which one is better but most of the time the book is better than the movie so yeah all right so i keep picking up all these crazy books that i don't have anymore and uh, that means your girl's gonna have to update the cookie jar which is no problem i actually was printing out cookies and um yeah so we shall see what that becomes so our last and final book it is going to be i think this is it oh snap another YA book and that is The Kiss of Deception which I've been wanting to read. I already mentioned it in one of my previous videos and this is definitely a YA classics and um this is definitely one of those YA classic fantasy and um yeah ooh, oh, I love it. It's a floppy paperback. Ah, I love it. I love hardcovers because the aesthetics are really nice on the shelves but like reading a floppy paperback is just a whole nother experience. I love it so much. This is the story of Princess Leah and uh, Princess Leah is uh, super rebellious you know she's one of those princesses and um when she finds out that uh, she has to marry some stranger for a political arrangement she decides to run away now uh, she begins to hide out in this town but what she doesn't know is that these two strangers that are start talking to her she does not know that one of them is the prince that she's supposed to marry and then the other one is the assassin that's supposed to kill her and in the book you don't know either so that's super exciting super innovative as well for a YA book and it still holds to the test of time because I still have not read or heard about a book that does this so this is super exciting y'all I'm so excited that I'm actually reading my books on my shelf okay it's really exciting so um yeah I cannot wait to uh, start this series all right y'all and that is it for the tbr of august i was about to say july uh no so this is the tbr of august we have a y contemporary a y contemporary a y fantasy a y contemporary a y fantasy and a historical fiction y'all this month is full of 
YA fantasies, which is fitting because, again, the new Twilight book is coming out, and I'm so excited, y'all. So excited. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope that you enjoyed this video, me making a fool out of myself, which I have no problems doing. So, yeah, again, make sure that you subscribe and that you like and if you do not have anything to comment down leave whatever emoji or your favorite emoji and that is all for today's video again thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye